I, I think that's what they were challenging because he was clearly out on the tag. But I thought that that was as clean as a whistle that yeah. play. I think they've had they've had a successful blocking of the plate challenge earlier, where it was obvious that the catcher was in fact blocking the plate. He's allowed to receive the ball. He got out of the way. It was textbook. I mean, just everything about them reeks of desperation. Uh, Rich Hill, by the way, I, I don't want to let the bats off the hook at all, but Rich Hill. The gall and the audacity. I know he's a veteran. I know he's 40-some years old, and he's been there, done that. Your manager comes to get you after an inning that's blown up in your face because you couldn't field a dribbler back to yourself, and you tell him, I'm good, I'm fine, and try to stay in the game, and then you're cussing coming off the mound? Man, my message to Rich Hill would be, if you want to cuss out somebody responsible for you leaving the game, go look in a mirror. I just thought that was a Bush League move by a pitcher who should understand the situation, which is he's not getting outs after he gave the Rockies an extra one. But they're in big trouble offensively. Uh, This was still only three runs. Their approach, as much as I praise them, Bob, it feels like, well, two weeks ago, because it probably was two weeks ago that you and I were praising them. Uh, Their approach, as good as it was through most of April at the plate, has completely curdled. They look desperate. They look like they're flailing. Palacios to end the game. I don't know if he even swung at a pitch in the strike zone. Just bad all the way around. Yeah, fundamentals have left. Again, runners scoring position can't get a hit. Starting pitching's not very good all of a sudden. And here they are. And and I asked this question last night of Andrew, and I'll ask it of you too. I, I, you know, you see um, that Davis down in double-A is hitting a cover off the ball right now. And while I wouldn't expect them to throw him right in the majors, and I understand that Andy Rodriguez is playing in triple A, and they may not want two catchers there, but they do have a DH rule. They could get guys at bats. What would you do with the catching situation, even though Jason DeLay has been a better hitter than Austin Hedges? I mean, right now you can put DeLay in there, I think. There's no reason not to. He's certainly be- uh, He has virtually no track record, but he's hitting better than Hedges, which isn't hard to do. You or I wouldn't be far off from hitting equal to Hedges if we were stuck in the lineup right now, Bob. Uh, I'd get... I'd get Davis up into a position where he's at least DHing. I mean, everything I understand uh, is that, you know, they look at Endy as their catcher of the future, that they don't really look at Henry Davis as that, that he's a DH first baseman type of guy. So you're really just trying to get the bat uh, moving there. He's torn up double A. Why not just jump him to the majors? I mean, we're talking about a college player that was picked number one overall and has sat in the minors, admittedly dealing with some injuries that have stunted maybe uh, his normal development curve. But... It's not like Henry Davis is young, is a pup down there, is a guy they drafted out of high school. I mean, they don't, I think, feel that there's a ton of use for AAA, Bob. He's ripping the cover off the ball. I mean, it wouldn't bother me in the slightest to see him on the major league club right now trying to DH and get some at-bats. It's not like anybody on that team really deserves them right now. And as you said, 23, he's not a high school kid who's... You know, 21. He's 23. He's been around. He, he's the number one overall pick. It's time. We're going to take a break here. We will come back with your phone calls. It's 412-575-2600. Also, some NHL news and an NBA tweet to talk about. That's all coming up next right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. <laughs> 